friends welcome to foods and flavors this is shilpi today i'm back with another very quick and easy to do recipe broccoli saag broccoli saag tastes almost like sarso ka saag which is a very famous punjabi dish whenever i crave for sarso ka saag and i don't get sarso i make this broccoli saag so let me show you how to make this yummy broccoli saag here is the ingredient list you can also see it with the detailed recipe and tips and tricks in my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com To start with, I have taken two cups of chopped spinach, which I have already washed, and two and a half cup of washed broccoli, which I have cut in small pieces, and also cut the stem in small pieces. I'll transfer this chopped and washed broccoli and spinach in the pressure cooker. Close the lid, and take two whistles on medium heat. After two whistles, switch off the heat. and take the pressure cooker away from the heat and let it cool down for some time now the spinach and broccoli are cold enough i'll grind it coarsely make sure it should not become paste but have grainy consistency like this now let's switch to the stove and cook it Here I've already heated the pressure cooker at medium heat and I'll add broccoli and spinach mixture. Mix it well and let it cook for few minutes. I'll stir it couple of times so that it does not get stick to the bottom. It's almost 6 minutes. Now I'll add 1 teaspoon of whole wheat flour or atta, some salt. Do not add too much of salt as spinach does not require much salt. I'll mix the saag well and cook it for 5 more minutes. Now the saag is ready. Let's keep it aside and make tadka for it. For this I'll take 6-7 cloves of garlic, 1 inch piece of ginger and 2 green chilies and make a coarse mixture with my stone. I'm using stone as I like this way, but if you like, you can also use grinder for this. Make sure mixture is coarse. Now this looks perfect to me. I'll keep it aside and switch to the pan that is already heated at medium heat. And now I'll add oil. I am using generous amount here as I am making strong tadka. You can adjust the quantity of oil based on your preferences. You can also use ghee in place of oil. And now I'll add this mixture and cook it. Stir it continuously to avoid burning. Now I'll add 1 teaspoon of red chili flakes and mix everything well. Now the tadka looks ready. I'll pour saag in the tadka and mix everything. Cook it for a couple of minutes. It's almost 2 minutes. Let me switch off the heat. Saag is ready to serve. You can enjoy this broccoli saag with makke ki roti or with plain rice. Hope you liked today's recipe. For more recipes, you can visit my blog www.foodsandflavorsbyshilpi.com or you can also visit my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe it. Thanks for watching my video. See you next time. Till then, happy cooking.